We are Princeton Intermediate, home of Tiger Pride, where we respect myself, others, property, and community. Good morning, Princeton Intermediate. This is Tiger Pride News. I'm Chloe. And I'm Sam. Today is Tuesday, February 1st, 2022, week one. Riddle of the day. How is your hand like a hardware store? Um, got me. It, it has, has nails. Nails. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, talking about tip today. Today, back by popular demand, we're going to play a video again, the video that was created um, by Leah and Claire. Uh, it's all about how to uh, greet someone, another adult, a adult and an adult in the building um, as you see them when they greet you or if they, if they don't greet you, just saying hello or hi or waving. So we're gonna watch that video um, now. Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Claire. And we're here to talk to you about how to greet an adult. What exactly do you mean, Claire? You know, when an adult or anyone greets you, it's sometimes hard to know what to do or how to respond. I agree. Check out this video clip of me and Claire before we learn how to greet an adult. Hello, girls. Wow, I didn't even realize how rude that looks. We didn't even wave or say hi or anything. Let's get this straight and start with the definition of greeting. It's around here somewhere. Ah, here. Greeting is an act of communication where human beings purposely make their presence known to each other. It means that we give a polite word or sign of welcome to someone upon meeting. So why is it important to greet others? It says here that greeting is one of the basic functions of communication and triggers positive conversation. It helps us connect to people on more of a personal level. This sounds really easy. Well, Claire, not everyone has the natural gift to say hello. I'm terrible at this. And for some reason, my sister can say hello and talk to anyone. I feel uncomfortable and shy sometimes when I know I have to greet someone or have a conversation. Have you ever asked yourself why you feel this way? I guess I never have, but this is a good time for us all to do a self-check. So everyone, take a minute to think about if greeting an adult is something you can do easily or if you feel challenged by this. If it's easy for you, continue practicing the good work and offer advice to someone who has trouble. If it's not easy for you, continue your self-check and listen to some of these reasons. Here's a list of common reasons kids don't greet adults. Sometimes they're nervous, afraid, can't think of anything to say, feel shy, don't want to talk or have a conversation, feel uncomfortable talking to someone they don't know. So, I feel shy, can't think of anything to say, found my reason, so that gets me off the hook. Leah, try again. You're right, I need to practice in order to get better. Let's go out into the community and do this. Okay, here we go. Me and Leah are here at the hardware store, and we're going to practice greeting people. Yeah. Hello, ladies. Good morning. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. How about you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. Yeah. After we left the hardware store, we ran to a boy scout named Logan. We interviewed him because he was selling popcorn and walking up to adults to see if they would buy some. His advice was to say hi and look people in the eye. After going out and trying this, I realized even though I feel shy sometimes, it really isn't that hard to do at the very least. Smile and make eye contact. Let's go over some more examples on the spectrum from shy to being bold and what you can say. Remember that self-check you did? Here's what you can do to find all the right starting places and put it into practice. So if you're starting on the shy end, just try some actions. Eye contact and smile. And add a wave. If you feel like you can speak, say hi, hello, hey. If you feel pretty comfortable, go ahead and respond with more good morning, good afternoon, good evening, 
Or when you're meeting someone for the first time or again, try nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Good to see you again. If you feel like you are bold and like to talk, you can try what's up. How's it going? How are you? How have you been? What's new? Next time you pass a teacher or a doll in the hallway and they give you a greeting or you want to greet them, go ahead and give one back. Be confident and know it's the polite thing to do and will make you feel good about yourself. We will leave you with a final thought about what we've learned. A simple hello can make friends of two strangers. It can bring a smile to someone who is alone. A hello can change the way we feel about a person, place, and ourselves. I hope you enjoyed that video. That's a cool video. Uh, just a reminder, um, it's okay to say hi if you're not feeling like you want to say the words hello or hi or good morning or whatever it might be. Just simply wave, acknowledge, nod your head. Many ways to greet someone else. Good news shout out. From Avery to Mrs. Johnson. Mrs. Johnson is the best teacher. She is so loving and kind. I always want her to be my teacher. I love her. She is the best. Birthdays for today. McKenna Christina. Jaden Dowling. Alia Levrev. Claire Patnode. Rani St. Kigurer. Mrs. Johnson. Staff Tag Pride winners. Mrs. Fritz. Mrs. Johnson. Mrs. Doyle. Snow dress up days for tomorrow. Country versus rock and roll day. All right. Um, wildlife camera. So you can see I have the groundhog with me over here. Uh, tomorrow's groundhog day, so I'll have to one more day of the groundhog. But we are going to share the screen and show some wildlife clips. Today it's going to be some otters. Um, so here we have the otter. Um, it's kind of funny. This otter is smelling the footprints of this coyote that went through. So i do that one more time. Kind of interesting. Kind of checking out who came through here. And then this is uh, at the refuge area. You can see kind of the snow is a little bit um, um, crunchy on top, making some weird patterns. They do love to slide through like that. So uh, if you ever notice those, those tracks in the, in the snow with a slide to it, uh, chances are it's an otter. You can find those out at the refuge um, area. A lot of tracks um, on the little lake there by the Learning Center, uh, which is where this camera is located. All right. They look like they have no bones when they're sliding, but they do. All right. Um, I think we'll call that good. So I'll stop sharing my screen. Be sure to check out these videos. These videos are shared each week um, with families and with staff. All right, ladies, take it away. Lunch for today. Beef taco meat with nacho chips in a bag or a cheese sandwich. Refried beans. Raw veggies. Fruit. Milk. Please fear for the Pledge of Allegiance, I hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tiger Pride is worldwide!